even get to run. Hello and welcome to Shooting Star 11. We are fresh off the back of a huge ending to FNN 97. Nick Aldis laid out the champion. Later on tonight, we have EC3 making an announcement. Who knows what it could be when it comes to EC3. It tends to be no championships, no rules, no wrestlers. It can be anything. But we also have the Women's Shooting Star Champion Dakota Kai in action. This is Shooting Star 11. Let's enter the fight zone. Dakota Kai defeating nine other wrestlers in the Shooting Star Championship Memorial Battle Royale that was dedicated to Hana Kimura. And you can hear some of the fight zone are booing. Booing Dakota Kai out of the building because at the end of the day she did win by hiding outside the ring then using a steel chair but anything goes in Friday Night Nexus. And Dakota Kai is your shooting star champion. And she is in for a fight here tonight. Speaking of shooting star champions, Finn Balor cannot make it here tonight after the brutal attack by Nick Aldis at FNN 97. But the women's shooting star champion is here and she is ready for a fight. And who could her opponent be? Well, I recognise that theme, and if anyone that knows who this is recognises the theme, this is the girl with the shiniest wizard, that is Tegan Knox, making her return to Friday Night Nexus. And she's absolutely fired up, the fight zone are happy to see her here, a new improved arena here tonight. This is Shooting Star 11 off of the back of a huge Shooting Star 10 terror in Tokyo. What a night of history that was. But Tegan Knox making her return to the fight zone here. The Welsh born wrestler right here going up against the Kiwi native. What? A hard hitting match we have ahead of us right here between the champion and the challenger. This is a non title contest, though. Let me just clarify that for you to make sure that you know that the belt is not on the line. But that doesn't mean you don't get huge momentum when you defeat a champion, especially in Friday Night Nexus. But you can see Dakota Kai right away taking it through with that wheelbarrow face planter right there. And now just stomping on Tegan Knox. You can hear the fight zone still absolutely booing Dakota Kai out the building. It's kind of a mixed reaction of sorts, but mainly boos. Now Dakota Kai kicks the legs from beneath her in a double foot stomp. The brutality of it all. Dakota Kai has been shown on a lot more aggressive side since Shooting Star 10. Now you can see Dakota Kai straight to the top rope now. Tegan Knox rolling to the centre of the ring but getting called to her feet. Dakota Kai trying to get the crowd behind her. She goes for a big cross body. Tegan Knox says no, lifts her up. And a Simone drop right there, dropping her right down. Now just stomping on the back of Dakota Kai right here, Knox in control, and Tegan Knox now curb stomp out of nowhere. Just punches the spine of Dakota Kai now. Tegan Knox is taking it to the champion here, big forearm to the face and another for good measure. Those leg kicks paying the difference, but now Dakota Kai coming back. Dakota Kai with the big scoop slam, Tegan Knox down. Kick to the spine now. Dakota Kai, here we go. She's grabbed that knee and look at her just punching down in the knee. You can see that it's in a brace. It's in a brace for a reason. She got that injured quite a while ago. And now, Jesus, look, once again, just working on that leg. 
Dakota Kai working on the leg. These these two used to be tag team partners. That's the most shocking thing about this aggression coming from Dakota Kai right here. Just decimating that knee. And you can see Tegan Knox struggling to get back to her feet as she gets a big back suplex dropped right on her neck. Straight to the top rope now goes Dakota Kai all the way up there going for a frog splash and manages to get the knees up but you can see Tegan Knox grabbing the knee on the way up. It definitely is playing a factor here and big leg drop to the arm. Dakota Kai goes for Tegan Knox's arm, no legs, but Knox is going for Dakota's arms. Big Irish trip into the corner punching the spine quite a few times and now throwing her shoulder first right into the turnbuckle. Jesus now just stomping down on the gut of Dakota Kai into the alley up. Tegan Knox getting fired up, getting the crowd behind her right here. Punches straight to the face, kick to the gut and a forearm to the side of the head and another hurricanrana for good measure. You can see now Tegan Knox just kicking the face of Dakota Kai. Of course Dakota Kai's annoyed her, she pissed her off by going for that leg and now Dakota Kai taking advantage, here we go. Got her trapped in the ropes and drives her head straight into the canvas, this could be it. Count to 100, just a one count, I spoke far too soon. And perhaps Dakota Kai went for the pin far too soon because Tegan Knox back to her feet with an insiguri. Now to the top rope goes Knox all the way up there. Tegan Knox calling Dakota Kai to her feet and a big cross body catches absolutely all of it and just takes in the fight zone here. She takes them in. Is she going for the pin? She is indeed going for the pin. One, two, no, just a two count. Dakota Kai getting back to her feet now. Meets a big fist to the back of the head by Tegan Knox. And over the ropes goes Dakota Kai. And she's not finished just yet. And right over. Superman Plancher right over the top rope right there. The fight zone behind this match all the way chanting this is awesome and indeed it has been now Tegan Knox straight to the top rope going for high octane offense right here going for a big moonsault and eats nothing but the knees nothing but the knees by Dakota Kai here and you can hear the booze slowly creeping back into the fight zone here and puts her down. Dakota Kai not finished just yet. A big kick in the corner takes the head completely off Tegan Knox. And where is Dakota Kai going? What is Dakota Kai doing? She's got a steel chair now. This is it. This is it. She's repeating what she did. It's shooting star 10. You can hear the fight zone absolutely booing her out of the building for it. And another. Just puts the chair down and stomps on it. Jesus Christ, the way I said the Kai's got her up. And just kicks her right square in the head. Wait a second, no, that's an injured leg. What the hell is the Kai doing? Jesus Christ. Look at Tegan Knox just, just screaming in pain. She just got, perhaps just got her... her her leg, her ankle, her knee completely re-injured. You can see her just struggling to stay on her feet in a big electric chair, spine first onto that chair. Oh, Dakota Kai, and here we go, the chiropractor just destroying her. Destroys the spine right here. One, two, three, and the champion proceeds. At what cost? Has she won both of these matches now? And you can hear the fight zone just soured. Fight zone absolutely soured on Dakota Kai here. Just completely soured and it's no wonder. No wonder whatsoever. She just, she cost 
Uh, right, we're going to head over to a promo that was sent in by Eric Bischoff of the Black Label. Let's roll that promo. Well, EC3 said that the network wants to introduce some fresh new upstarts to Friday Night Nexus and he did mention a breakout star, it looks like the all black Tonga Reed has arrived an FNN shooting star. This man reached all the way to the prize round of FNN breakout only to be defeated by Nick Aldis. But the, th the shocking thing about this man is he has absolutely zero wrestling experience before FNN. So when you get a wrestling upstart, that is exactly what this man is. From the absolute grassroots, this man was created by he was handpicked by Eric Bischoff if we're going to be truthful about it. And what a pick did Eric Bischoff make for the FNN Breakout Tournament. What is this? What is this? Tonga Reed's even shocked. What the hell is this? Oh my god. That is exactly who you think it is. That is Rex Steiner. The son of Rick Steiner, the nephew of Scott Steiner. This man, 23 years old. And just a. Yet another upstart in professional wrestling. Looks like EC3's making all the signs, and it did not look like Tonga Reed knew that Rex Steiner would be here tonight. And the fight zone absolutely hyped for what they are seeing. The only person not hyped in this arena is Tonga Reed himself. And you can see very angrily shouting at him, but 
Rex Steiner just showing off. Fights on chatting, this is awesome. Tongari passed, leaving the referee got in between them just in time. Tongari just leaving. Leaving the fight zone here. This is not the big moment that he was expecting. Rex Steiner just showing up and ruining his day and here we go with the press ups. You don't get more Steiner than that right here. Tongarid's gone. Tongarid is leaving. It looks like we're getting another match here tonight. This is our main event as far as I'm being told. On his way to the ring currently as his music plays is the Miracle Mike Bennett, the man that has had Jeff Jarrett in his corner. If anyone knows anything, anything whatsoever about the Steiners, it is Jeff Jarrett. The man that brought Scott Steiner to TNA, the man that fought Scott Steiner in WCW. Mike Bennett is going up against a man that comes from a long line of hard-hitting motherfuckers and that is <laughs> it's, let's see if it just uh, if, if he can continue on in his winning streak that he's been on lately Mike Bennett has arrived in shooting star but more importantly Rex Steiner and Tonga Reed. Tongari just refusing to do an interview with Shane Douglas and he is just leaving. Rightfully so, the man came out for his big moment after reaching the breakout prize round and just got it completely snubbed by Rex Steiner. But, can't say that we're not happy to see the big man in FNN, both in the form of Tongari and Rex Steiner, so the man bias. But the bell has been rung. Here we go. Mike Bennett, Rex Steiner in his in-ring debut in Friday Night Nexus. He's got him trapped in that corner. Referee getting in between them and just gets bitch slapped by Mike Bennett. Not the type of person you want to bitch slap. But here we go. Mike Bennett taking the fight to Rex Steiner here. And now just choking him on the ropes. Mike Bennett is definitely the veteran in this ring. He's nearly been wrestling for as long as as Rex Steiner has been alive and look at him just continuing to bring the blows but here we go the big man now bringing the fight back to Mike Bennett just a discus closely and taking his head right off straight to the big rig right there and just a scoop slam with authority and into an elbow drop right across the chest and now just kicking down the chest of Mike Bennett, the fight zone right behind Rex Steiner right here. Big Irish whip into the corner, punches him in the spine and another for good measure. And here we go, shoulder first into the steel. Wait a second, Steiner not finished, big kick just face washes him. Just decimates the face and goes for the pin. One, two. Just a two count right there. Not it just yet. And Mike Bennett just absorbed that kick. And Jesus, just puts him down with a sucker punch. Puts him straight down. And immediately stays on him. That's the ring awareness of Mike Bennett. Tilt the world backbreaker right there. He's taking in the fight zone. Is the fight zone seem to be behind both men right here? Big hammer throw into the corner, big Irish whip into the other corner, and a big clothesline. Now Bennett straight to the top rope he goes, super five splash and fucking hits none of it. Hits absolutely none of it. And here we go, Rex Steiner back suplex with a wee bit of showing off in the process. And now just beating down on the spine with those elbows and just doing press ups on his back. Now, if, you cannot deny that that man is a Steiner, can you? And here we go, just showing off more. Hey, face to face with Mike Bennett doing those push-ups. The man, he's, 
he's sure showing that nothing is facing him in this match and all the way up there Jesus Gorilla Press Slam and just continues to flex the guns here as the fight zone completely behind him but Mike Bennett straight back to his feet clothesline and ducks under flying clothesline misses it and meets a forearm to the face no matter what Mike Bennett throws at Rex Steiner, he just seems to absorb it and out the ring he goes. Steiner follows him, not giving him a second to breathe and a big elbow across the chest. Rex Steiner taking in the fight zone. I can see that we've got a new fan favourite here in the form of a Steiner and that's no surprise. It really isn't. And now just got him in that headlock and continues to show off into a headstand, just wrenching it even more. Steiner up to the top rope and he's, he sure pulled that one out of nowhere and a big elbow meets absolutely nothing. And you can see Bennett staying on him, kick punch to the gut. Bennett now receding with a punch and another for good measure. Now Steiner, big punch to the face, into the corner. Kick to the back and just a forearm across the chest. I think this is, uh, what? Oh, oh, here we go, the flex and pump of course. Big elbow across the chest. And now Steiner is calling for something. What could he be calling for here? He is getting Mike Bennett ready for a trip of the lifetime. Here we go, he's got him up. This is he gonna do it? The Steiner screwdriver. Fuck yeah. The Steiner screwdriver. Referee's not even in the ring. How f that's like a 20 count. Two, three. Holy shit. What a way to end the FNN right here. Tongaritas arrived on the scene and most importantly. FNN is graced by Rex Steiner as well. Thank you for watching Shooting Star 11.